Welcome to Hypnosis Health Info, I'm Roger Moore. I wrote the other day and did post in a video the other day about uh, food addiction and, and was talking about an article that I found in the May 2012 Men's Health Magazine and, and there was more from that article that I, I wanted to share with you and, and it was talking about food on the brain and, and it says that what we really need to do is, is to control our survival instinct. It says we exist on the planet because of fat and sugar, those valued treasures in the evolutionary struggle. Fat was survival fuel for cavemen. That macronutrient contains more calories per gram, nine in fact, than either protein or carbs. And back in the day, sugar carbo carbohydrates helped keep us alert to potential dangers. Today, we and our desk-bound brethren burn far fewer calories, yet we maintain that co-magnum connection to the pleasures that high-fat, high-sugar foods bring to our brains. So the food we're wired to desire isn't always the food we need. And what we need to do is stop getting high on food. In a study in the archives of general psychiatry, researchers found that the brains of food-addicted people who consumed a high-calorie milkshake responded the same way the brains of drug addicts responded to a dose of cocaine. Food addicts have the same reward signals and signs of dopamine dysfunction as drug addicts have. And like drug addicts, food addicts may relapse when they try to curb their tendencies. Unlike drugs, food keeps us alive. And untangling that association can be difficult. Certain foods may also have the same mood-boosting properties as drugs have. In a 2011 study in the Journal of Clinical Investigation, participants who investigated a saturated fat solution felt happier after listening to sad music than those who ingested a saline solution. It turns out that comfort food might actually comfort us, and that makes it even more, even more challenging to resist. So, you know, folks, one of, one of the challenges here, of course, is that you know, back in the day when, you know, when we were living in caves and prairies and jungles and all those types of things, that fat served us very well. It kept us alive. We, we needed to store fuel to make it through the long, cold winter until the berries were out again. In fact, worked for, fat worked very well for that survival, for that way of storing that energy. But you know what, folks, today, for most of us, our cupboards are filled with food. Our refrigerators are filled with food. There's grocery stores every few miles. Our neighbors, their cupboards are filled with food. And there's restaurants for most of us every few miles. So here we are today with the same body survival instincts of, of wanting fat, wanting sugar. Our body wants to store the fat for energy in case we need it. And yet we're totally surrounded by food we don't need to store that fat. Now, the, the primary purpose of our unconscious mind is to keep us alive, it's for survival, and, and to be efficient, to, to keep us uh, alive and surviving efficiently. And carrying excess fat is not efficient. In fact, it's very inefficient. It slows us down, it creates all kinds of diseases and illnesses and makes us sick. And, and you know, we're living a lot longer today than we used to back when we lived in caves and jungles. We didn't have the issues of obesity, the, the, the diseases that result from long-term obesity, because we just didn't live that long. But today we're surviving kind of like we were living in a cave or in a jungle, piling on all the fat, but we're not taking it off over the winter. We're not out running, we're not doing those things. And so that fat and that sugar becomes uh, very detrimental to our health. The, the most efficient thing for us to do is to be slender, to be physically fit, to be, to be active. We'll have, we'll have sharper brains, we'll have healthier, stronger, more agile bodies, able to do the things in life that, that we want to do. And folks, you know I'm going to tell you about hypnosis. I always do. Uh, hypnosis is a way for you to stop that uh, addiction to, to fat, to stop the addiction to sugar and, and other unhealthy foods and to end those desires and create healthy desires for the vegetables, the whole grains, the fruit, and the water, to create a healthy desire to be physically active, 
whether that's going walking for you or going bowling or going to the gym or riding your bike 200 miles or running a marathon, what, going dancing, whatever it looks like for you, just get out and be active. So take a look, folks, at all the tools and resources here at hypnosishealthinfo.com and slenderforlife.com. And if there's any way that I can support you in your weight release, then give me a call at 206-903-1232 or send me an email, roger at hypnosishealthinfo.com. And even if you're not overweight or not very much overweight but still are addicted to fats and sugars, give me a call. Uh, we can ha have you come in here into the office or we can do Skype and internet sessions and support you no matter where you live in ending that addiction. I'm Roger Moore and this is Hypnosis Health